so this looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? You guys ever get one of those crazy ideas in your head? Let me try to sort this out. You guys ever get a crazy idea in your head and you think, hmm, I got this here Python and can't really do anything with it because it's practically perfect the way it is? Yeah, well, I had that crazy idea. So what I thought I would do, I'd take my little doggy blanket here, cover that up like that, right? And then I would go over here and I would open this and uh, then I would do this. <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of a 23 month old conquest. This is me completing my collection of snake guns. That's right. This is the Anaconda. 44 Magnum, six inch, wait a minute. What the hell is this? Sit tight, give me just a second. I gotta do something about this. Ah, there we go. That's a whole lot better, isn't it? Yeah. So, like I was saying before, this is the Colt 2021 model, which I got in 2022. Anaconda, six inch. These grips are, I believe, called Black Ironwood, Dragon Scale, with silver medallions. I do prefer finger grooves on my grips, but I saw these and I'm like, you know what? That looks pretty darn good. I think I'm gonna go with this and just run with it. So, like the Python, you get the same type of case. It's basically the same physically, I think. Same instruction manual, but for the Anaconda. Same trigger lock. Same paperwork and information, as usual. This talks about Lucas Oil stuff. This is Lucas Extreme Gun Oil, which I buy in four and eight ounce bottles to refill my needle bottle. This stuff smells really good too, by the way. And the meat and the potatoes, obviously. So in all honesty, it's not physically that much different than the last, you know, or the, than the Python that I reviewed. But, you know, interesting, 44 Magnum. Pop it open by releasing it towards the rear instead of the front, which I don't think my fingers are gonna play nice. Oh, there we go, Never mind. And they put the little recoil shield in here. They actually put dimples in these, that's kinda cool. Keeps them centered. Uh, first experience with one of these was with, was with my Ruger Red Hawk Alaskan, it's just a flat piece. But anyway, six holes, ready to go. Nice star, very clean, very clean. Wonder if they got any coon rings on the front from test firing. Yep, there's the one. To, looks like they do every other one. They did that on my uh, on my Python too. Every other cylinder. So I'll have to clean that up a little bit. But other than that, I mean, features-wise, there's not a whole lot you can do about it, talk about on a revolver. Really good trigger, double single action, obviously. Matter of fact, trigger feels exactly the same as the Python. Even the texture. Double action. Yeah, it's really smooth. Usually on an older Colt, you can click it, you can hear four, you can pull back the hammer and hear four clicks, but the new trigger system is three. One, two, three. So the first one's to advance the cylinder, the second one's to move the cylinder lock, and then the third one is when it actually locks back in place. And then off you go. If you really want these grips, I'll leave you a link in the description below. I think I paid $91 for them. They're really nice. I kind of like them. 
I usually don't do fancy grips like this. I usually put Hogue Tamers on all my wheel guns, but all my wheel guns are gigantic calibers too, so they're kind of necessary. But I kept the Hogue up here just in case if I ever changed my mind. So let's compare it to the Python. Let's see if it's actually physically any different, aside from the cylinder being fatter and the bore being bigger. really this part of the frame down is the same because this grips these grips said they said that they would work on both the, the python and anaconda it's the new i frame and i think the older ones were called the e frame and i think it, what it is is there's something down here that was different between the two because i'd heard complaints for people buying the grips for the old frames and when you try to attach them to these frames you would get this really nasty gap along the bottom but this is nice and smooth and tight and the only reason I really did different grips here is so I could physically see the visual difference quickly, but truth be told, I really can't tell the difference. It's when you look here that you really spot the differences. Weight-wise, let me see. Okay. Yeah, this is a bit heavier. It is a bit chubbier. But dimensionally, relatively the same. All I know is I wanted this ever since I watched The Walking Dead. I wanted this because of Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. And I kid you not, watching Estelle Getty bring this to bear on somebody and says the words, nobody hurts my baby. That sold me on that one. The other reason I bought it is, well, this is my 401k program. Maybe someday they'll discontinue these Maybe someday we won't ever, maybe these will go up in value just like the old ones do. But I'm very happy with this. This is my second 44 Magnum. My other one was my 629 competitor Smith & Wesson, which I don't think I've done a video on yet, but it was the second gun I ever purchased, my first being a Walther PPK, as if my avatar wouldn't make that a dead giveaway. Anyway, there they are, snake guns, both six inch. I'd mold about getting the eight inch, but Estelle Getty's gun was the 6-inch, and I'm actually glad I went this route, because the 8-inch would have just been ridiculous in a holster. Both of these go in my Buchheimer Law or Patrolman Swing Swivel Holster, but I'll probably get a, just a belt holster anyway, because the Swing Swivel Holster does sit way too low. I mean, if you're Rick Grimes and you're walking around, no big deal, but for a guy like me, 6 foot 1, 210 pounds, having, this, having the bottom of this bang into the lower part of your knee, kind of annoying but I got their holster anyway because I'm Rick Grimes bitch anyway there they are what's that four grand worth of revolvers Jesus anyway I want to take the time to thank you for watching if you're new to my channel welcome if you're a regular here welcome back either way maybe check out my other playlists and see if my other interests may be of interest to you thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one later you want a close up? Dirty girl, I'm going to wipe her down. See ya!